The cities of the 21st century bring many people together, each with their own motivations, each with their own movements. Understanding the factors that affect human behavior is crucial to building better active safety systems for vehicles, to know how people interact with each other and with the environment around them. While it's possible to model observed behavior patterns through machine learning, that approach is limited to actions. What if we could better understand the mental state of the driver, the pedestrians, and other road users, and get real insight into the interactions between them? This is one of the goals of SeamuSafe. Using the latest VR technology, we study human behavior in various traffic conditions. We started with experiments on the streets of Rome, Italy, and Bargo, Spain to identify a short list of particularly challenging scenarios. Not surprisingly, one of them is a roundabout exit. We created a virtual replica of a roundabout on a test track. In our simulator, we can test all sorts of variations, like changing the weather, the traffic intensity, the time of the day, and so on. We can also test how drivers will react under altered driving conditions, such when they are stressed, tired, or intoxicated. To make sure the VR simulations are close to reality, we asked tens of volunteers to perform the same scenarios in both the VR simulation and on the test track. It is very easy to capture reaction time in the simulator, but on the test track, both the pedestrian and the vehicle driver need to be highly instrumented. The effort has paid off though, as we now have collected substantial data about human behavior in difficult traffic scenarios, and we can be confident as to what extent VR simulations model that behavior effectively. With the data, we can improve our system's awareness of driver attentiveness and continue to push the boundaries in driver state sensing, interior sensing, and user experience solutions with a deeper understanding of the factors that move us all.